here are some things in your life that will change when you get a dog. Number one, your home will change. Especially if you get a dog with fur instead of hair, fur will get everywhere. It's a lot harder to keep your home clean. I'm constantly vacuuming all the time. Your apartment will be taken over. Dog toys, dog beds, dog everything. Number two, you have a lot more responsibilities and a lot less free time. Dogs require a lot of time in the day. I spend one hour keeping the dog exercise. I have to take him out four times every single day on a set schedule in order for him to go potty. What that means is I can't go out to like visit my friends all day long without taking the dog. It is also a lot harder to go on trips when you have a dog and you have a lot more worries. I know I wake up in the middle of the night a lot of times going, I took him out too early and he might need to use the bathroom again. Number three, I have gone out and explored so much more than I ever have. I've been to so many parks and so many hiking trails. Going out in public when you have a dog you get way more attention. With Gatsby, I've met a lot of new people and I've made a lot of new friends. While the dogs are playing, we all talk and catch up together. However, I tend to only do now outdoor activities that involve the dog. For example, I used to play tennis a lot. I haven't really been playing that much. Anything that doesn't allow a dog, <laughs> I tend not to do anymore. Finally, number four. I am a way happier person. And I think that's all that matters in the end. You make me so happy, Gatsby. <laughs> We decided to check out this new farm park. Good. Did you have a good time meeting all the chickens and roosters for the first time? Anyway, we're gonna head back home and start the day. My friend sent me all these corgi jokes. I thought that I would read them throughout the vlog and let me know if you think these are funny. There are two friends walking home from the dog park. The first with a Doberman, the second with a corgi. The first man says, I'm really hungry. Let's go over to that restaurant and get something to eat. The guy with the corgi says, we can't go in there. We've got our dogs with us. The guy with the Doberman pincher says, just follow my lead. They walk over to the restaurant. The guy with the Doberman pincher puts on a pair of dark glasses and he starts to walk in. The guy at the door says, sorry man, no pets allowed. The guy with the Doberman says, you don't understand, this is my seeing eye dog. The guy at the door says, a Doberman pincher? He says, yes, we're using them now. They're very good. The guy at the door says, come on in. The guy with the corgi figures, what the hell? The most they will do is refuse to let me in. So he puts on a pair of dark glasses and starts to walk in. The guy at the door says, sorry pal, no pets allowed. The guy with the corgi says, you don't understand, this is my seeing eye dog. The guy at the door says, a corgi? And he says, you mean they gave me a corgi? We've made it to October, it is Halloween time. Time for everything to start tasting like pumpkin spice. I would always read in Harry Potter how everyone would just quench their thirst by drinking ice cold pumpkin juice. To me that sounded really good and I was actually shocked to find out that that's actually not a real thing. But I did find a recipe online that is supposed to mimic the Wizarding World of Harry Potter theme parks pumpkin juice recipe. So I thought that I would make that and see if pumpkin juice even tastes 
good. Here are the ingredients for pumpkin juice. The first thing you need to do is get 20 dried apricots and stick them in three cups of water and place them in the refrigerator overnight. Next, we're going to want to thinly slice four two inch pieces of ginger, four cups of apple juice, Two cinnamon sticks, 14 allspice berries. It smells kind of like licorice, nutmeg, and pumpkin spice. Ooh. The ginger that we just sliced, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ooh. It smells like I'm in a Hallmark store. This reminds me of when I was at Cornell University. They had tons and tons of apple orchards on campus. Apple cider was on tap at every single dining hall, which is really cool. We would all drink so much apple cider all year round. That was one of the best parts. This is almost about to boil, so we're gonna reduce the heat and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Start. It's been mulling for 10 minutes. So what we do is we just take this off the heat, set it aside, and let it cool down for a little bit. Let's start on the next part. Let's get our blender, add our soaked apricots and water. Looks pretty good already. Let's open our can of pumpkin puree. One cup into the apricot mixture over here, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Looking good. Next, we're gonna strain the apple cider mixture that's been cooling. Finally, we pour this mixture over here through a very fine strainer into the pitcher. This takes like a while to strain through. You have to do like a tiny bit at a time. And there we go! Woo! It looks pretty good. We're just gonna stick this in the refrigerator and then we'll have ice cold pumpkin juice straight out of Harry Potter. I am excited to try that out. My bodybuilding supplements came in the mail. It's not for you. All these goodies. My pre-workout, pre-gym. Post-workout includes cell mass, protein. I'm using this Universal Real Gains. It's a weight gainer protein, which means it includes tons and tons of calories. <laughs> See you at the gym. Okay, hit a little bit of chest and back, and then I'm gonna head off to the post office to check out the P.O. box. I haven't checked it in a while. We just got some mail, Gatsby. Allison and Caitlin from San Diego, California. I love you, Gatsby, and your YouTube channel. From Joshua from Waipahu, Hawaii. You caught a corgi kachu. From Mackenzie from Danville, California. From Adam from Australia. This is from NJ from Great Britain. My nanny is in love with your cooking. You got this from Carlos from South Carolina. Let's check out what it is. It's a bone. I play Pokemon Go like you. I am level 19. What level are you? Right now I am level 24, I believe. Finally, we got a package from Russia. Mom's your fan as well. She likes when you test the BuzzFeed recipes, especially when you share it with Sean. From Russia with love, and Thank you so much, Anne. Russian dog chews, rabbit flavored. And we got a raccoon dog toy. This one's for Sean. Thank you so much to everyone for sending us such wonderful things as always. And if you want to send us something, make sure to check out our PO box in the description below. What do you call an overweight corgi? Low fat. My Harry Potter dreams are about to come true. Magic is going to happen. Okay, let's try this out. It's good. It does not taste like what I expected it to. I kind of pictured it tasting like liquid pumpkin pie. <laughs> kind of tastes like apple cider pumpkin. It's not to say it's not good. It is so good. Cheers! I'm gonna go and check out the Halloween store because Halloween is coming up. So we're gonna go and figure out what costume we're gonna be for Halloween. I thought you were gonna be BB-8. No? Maybe next year. You can be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or, or a Joker or a Wonder Woman or or her. Oh look, she wants a hug. From Toy Story 3? Yeah. It's Voldemort. I'm Britney Spears, obviously. Oh, aren't you, aren't you that Pokemon Go kid? <laughs> Every day? Do 
You look like Indiana Jones. Are you Wolverine? Five Nights at Freddy's. This one's pretty scary. You can be a poke ball. That's what you're gonna wear for Halloween? Oh, <laughs> so slutty and you need the <laughs> Slutty minions. <laughs> That's all the costumes. Come naked just with this. You can be a slutty stormtrooper. Slutty BB-8. You need that. I didn't know. Does this look like Naruto to you? Oh, can't you see it? Oh, you have to keep this on to be like, I'm Naruto. Duh. That's what I'm looking for. Dory, slutty Dory costume. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be, Sean? I don't know who that is. They can't use any copyright names, so this is Comb Over Candidate, Mrs. Political. The Harry Potter section's so small now. Wait, but I want to be the new character. What's the new character's name? I don't know, something complicated. Fantastic Beasts. <laughs> and where to find them? That's his name. You stole a lock of Ariel's hair. Two locks. Is that really what it is? Yeah. Or look, you can be Taylor Swift. Look, this is Stalker. <laughs> I don't think anyone would know who you are if you just wore this. They'll just be like, oh, you're someone who's in jail. Would anyone recognize you if you just wore this? Like, obviously I'm Will Smith's character. I have to wear the put in. <clears throat> no Zootopia costumes? I want to be the sheep from Zootopia. Ghost Stories gloves. Sean, you need this and you can, then we'll know who you are. Oh. Are you are you telling ghost stories? Yeah. <laughs> with those gloves? I'm gonna match it with this. Oh, nice. Did this help you decide who you're gonna be for Halloween? Yep, I'm gonna be... Jack Skellington. <laughs> huh? what? It looks like you're touching his special place. <laughs> <laughs> What do you get when you cross a corgi with a computer? A short circuit. Shall we go for an evening stroll? You were recognized so many times, huh? You're getting to be such a famous corgi. Ah, so I'm headed off to dinner. It is the weekend. I rarely vlog on the weekend, huh? I just realized that. Anyway, I'm meeting up with my friend Sean again. My neighbor Sean. From Anne. Whoa. From Russia. Sean is vlogging right now too. Anne from Russia, thank you for this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. He's telling you to wait, Sean. They have souvlaki and euros and everything I want. Check out my nail here. The black is moving up. My doctor said that the blood already dried up. It's not bothering me either. There's no pressure, so they said the best thing to do is just let it grow all the way out. Okay, head it out. Get the pull, Sean. Oh. <laughs> We're driving through a scary area. This is where, in the horror movie, where our cell phones will go out. If you notice, here in California, nobody's in the Halloween mood. I know, what's going on? One home, we and found there's, one. There's oh, two, two, two admiring homes. the house. <laughs> We're grabbing ice cream at Smitten, this new place. Make the ice cream using liquid nitrogen, so it's made to order, because it freezes it faster than ice. It's pretty good. So was it good, Sean? It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. Did you put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it? No, that's too, too big of a reference. Oh, no. no. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> So I think the thing that would change for this, I wouldn't put as much apricot, apricots inside. It's super, super apricot tangy. That's the only thing that would change. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna get ready to go to bed. It's been a long day. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. And thank you to Gatsby for being in my life. Gatsby, you changed my life for the better. Gatsby is so exhausted. <laughs> See you guys in the next vlog. Good night.
A woman comes home from work to find her neighbor outside, clearly distraught. As she gets out of the car, the neighbor approaches her and says, You have to help me! I lost my corgi! The neighbor helpfully suggests, Why don't you put an advertisement on Craigslist? To which the neighbor scoffs, Don't be silly! He can't read!